Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and this is my channel Sabrina Rose as most of you guys already know. And today I have a pretty cool video. It's about some underrated products at the drugstore from Black Radiance and it's on these Black Radiance bronzers slash highlighters. So I wasn't actually even supposed to film this video. I was filming some other stuff and I just did this look on Snapchat, basically a Snapchat tutorial, if you guys don't know what that is. And if you do have Snapchat or IG, make sure you guys go and follow me. Just pause the video real quick, go and follow me. I'm gonna have them right here or up right here. My social media handles for you guys is pretty easy and you'll get to see all the behind the scenes things of what I do and also looks like these that I do randomly on Snapchat and I'll tell you guys about my videos, upcoming videos and stuff like that and just my life when I'm not on YouTube. So like I said, I wasn't even supposed to be doing this video, but I used one of the highlighters in my tutorial and then I was thinking, you know, there's really not a lot of hype on these products and they are pretty awesome. Like if you guys want to look on YouTube, there's barely anything about these Black Radiance highlighters slash bronzers on there except for some that were like years and years old. So I was like, why not? let me make a video on them. Because I have about five of them and four of them can be used as highlighters and one of them can actually be used as a bronzer slash contour for deeper skinned individuals. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty short video so let's just jump right into it and talk a little bit more about these products. Like I said before, I have five of them here with me right now. I will be going through the different colors with you, showing you guys swatches on my skin and also showing you guys face swatches of these products. But I'm giving you guys a little bit of product details before I jump into that. So I usually pick up these bronzers slash highlighters from Walmart. They go for $4.74 there. Sometimes a little bit more expensive, sometimes a little cheaper at Walmart. You can also find them at your local drugstore that sells Black Radiance. I know my Walgreens sells it and I, th I don't know I think that's about it because I don't really go into CVS like that or Rite Aid but check your local drugstore if not Walmart Target also I think sells Black Radiance as well so yeah you can find those products there I'm gonna give you guys some of the claims that Black Radiance on their website says these are the artisan color baked bronzers even though some of them are not deep enough for a bronzer they're definitely more of a highlighter on the product description on the website it states that the artisan color baked bronzer provides a streak free lightly toasted look creates the illusion of sun drenched skin anywhere you dare the specially formulated terracotta baked marbleized color can be used dry with a loose powder brush or wet as a sheer cream that glides on the skin with intense color and shimmer they also have a few claims. They state this product is formulated with ultra fine particles of shimmer to highlight complexion with a luminous finish. Set in soft powder blends easily and applies on skin with even coverage and is ideal for all skin types. So those are the claims that Black Radiance states these products have and that is a little bit of product description. On the website, they have them for $4.99, so not too much more expensive than what Walmart has them. But I'm definitely telling you guys, a highlighter for less than five bucks at the drugstore come on. So let's go through the shades that I have. The first one that I have to talk to you guys about is this one right here. It's Ginger Snap. It is the first color. Actually, it's not the first color. It's the second color that I ever got from the bronzer slash highlighter collection from Black Radiance. I found out about this from another YouTuber. Her name is Rose Kimberly. And I found out probably about a year to a year and a half ago. She used to rave about this, how it was just a really nice, subtle, highlighter from the drugstore for brown skin so I definitely picked it up and I love it this is like my favorite favorite go-to highlighter if I want like a nice natural look it gives your skin a nice bronzy finish it is so beautiful for the price it's not glittery it doesn't have like a lot of big particles on it or anything like that it's just really subtle and really nice another one that I'm going to compare this one to really quickly i will swatch it on my hand for you just so i can compare it if you guys have the true complexion contour palette from black radiance this is the powder kit in medium to dark you guys know this highlighter shade right here it's really comparable to that to me i think it's a little bit more bronzy this one is ginger snap and this is the highlighter that is in the 
contour palette and ginger snap is a little bit more bronzy than the one in the contour palette as you guys can see right here but they're really really similar on the skin and to me this is so much better formulated and it picks up so much better on the skin than this one in the palette does the next bronzer i have is this color right here and it is in the color blackberry this is actually the first bronzer color that i got from them and it's definitely not a highlighter on my skin tone it's definitely more of a contour shade for my skin tone definitely lighter than me and I feel even deeper than my skin tone can use this to contour with as well. It has a very purple undertone with veining. This bronzer and Ginger Snap are the only two bronzer colors slash highlighter colors that I have with veining. All the others are just straight color, straight same pigment, no veining through them. And yeah, this is actually the first thing that I used to use to contour with, fun fact. And I like it for that reason. I don't use it as much anymore because I feel it's a little bit too dark for me. I actually like more muddy brown colors and sometimes red brown colors to contour with or bronze my skin with. But definitely if you're deeper than me, you'll probably really, really like this. The next three are more recent to my collection. I got them some a few weeks ago, some a few months ago. The next product I will share with you guys is the product Beautiful. This is a very pretty gold shade. It's it's not even champagne gold. It's straight like yellow gold. And it definitely has bigger particles in it to me than, say, Ginger Snap has. And <laughs> to be honest with you, at Walmart they had kind of a product... They kind of had a product error where they had the wrong name on the back of this. So the box was correct but the name on the back was wrong and this actually happened to me again with another one of the products that the name on the back was wrong so i don't know what kind of error was going on with that but this is beautiful this is the name of this one like i said it's a nice yellow gold color to me this is the brightest one on my skin tone the most pigmented of all of the shades that i have that you can use as a highlighter but it's very beautiful especially like I said for the price I really feel it is worth it it is a little bit more shimmery than the others it will probably show a little bit more texture than the others too but it's still a really pretty color especially on brown skin the next shade I have is called flawless it is this orange terracotta rust color shade it is a shimmery bronzer I feel like this can definitely probably be a bronzer on some for me I can use this as a highlighter as well and I think it's so pretty. I think if you are fairer than me, then you probably want to use this as more of a blush topper. If you have a type of orange rust color blush to wear, this would be a great blush topper on top of it. But if you're my skin tone or deeper, you can definitely use this one as a highlighter. And this is really, it's really nice. To me, it's a lot like Ginger Snap, but with a lot less gold in it. The last highlighter slash bronzer I have to share with you guys is this one in the color Rose Gold. As I said before, I did have another one of the product that had an error in the back. So it says beautiful for some reason in the back, but it says definitely not beautiful. It is Rose Gold. So yeah, this is what I am wearing on my face today. If you guys can see the highlight. And I know on the swatches on my face, all of the highlighters are a lot more brighter because of the brush I use because I use a fan brush for this one so you can definitely tone it down by choosing different types of brushes to put them on your face with or you can make them less pigmented and definitely you can blend them out as well I did not blend out any of them so that you guys could just see their true color true to pigment without me blending it out and I also wore no makeup on my face at the time too just to make it easier to swatch so this is rose gold it does show up pretty light on my skin tone so if you're deeper than me this is probably something you want to put in your inner eye or on your lid this might be a little too ashy for you but for my skin complexion maybe a little deeper and definitely fairer than me you could definitely use this as a highlight so a really nice highlight for if you have a cool tone look or a nice rose gold look like i have on today so yeah that is basically my little talk through review about these products definitely go check out your local drugstore walmart target walgreens wherever you get your beauty products from check them out check out black radiance don't sleep on it don't sleep on these highlighters they are gorgeous especially for us women of color if you can't afford a 40 dollar highlight palette a 50 dollar single highlighter from sephora 
go to the drugstore, go and get you some black radiance boo boo. I bet you someone's gonna be asking what your highlight is. Now a lot of these highlighters, I wouldn't say they're shimmery or anything like that. They're not like that wet in your face look except for one of them, but they are a great highlighter for every day and they show up on deep and dark skin tones. So I really think for a B buck, they are definitely, they're less than $5. They're less than $5. They're definitely worth to get picked up. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried these products before and also let me know if you want to see a separate blush video about Black Radiance blushes because I have quite a few of them and I can make that if you guys want that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And don't forget to turn on bell notifications so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. As usual, I upload videos every week. You guys already know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.